we are not taking applications for this session for summer or for the fall for forensics just for the um the space they just don't have any availability right now um, but moving forward if you guys are interested then i can always put my information on the chat and give you guys the application for that um i don't know if that's too broad or if you guys had questions in regards to the program I was trying to see if I can share my screen for something, but I don't think I can share it. Okay, um, if you want, you can send it over to me and I can share it. Um, but if okay. not, um, we can have, we could save questions for the end as well. Um, okay, let me send you this link then. So that way, um, because we have two, one that is considered like our volunteer one, mm -hmm. um, which can have a little bit different requirements than our actual internship program. With our internship program, you're able to do a credit-based and a non-credit-based internship. And internships can run from six months all the way to a year or even more, depending on what the need of the student is. With our volunteer program, that's also the same. You know, it can be ongoing or it can be, hey, I need a volunteer for six months because then I need to complete the requirements. Um, just really cater to and tailor to what the student is looking for um, in the different departments that we have available at the time of their application. So I just sent you the link for the volunteer and for the internship. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and share my screen momentarily. And then you can just guide me on if you yeah. want me to scroll up and down. Let's see which one we're at here first. Okay, so our volunteer program. So you can just scroll down. Um, so if you guys are able to click on that um, VIPS 2024 down on the well, on my right hand, uh, no, lower. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, where it has the, the YouTube link on there. Okay. Right. Yeah, that guy right there. Um, and that'll really give you a really um, good Here look into our department. Our department. Are the heroes because of that. From the system, community outreach events, and the various administrative tasks, their dedication and enthusiasm make a world of difference. Closer to our department, but it's also a funnel for various career opportunities within law enforcement. I've been with the Miss Police Department for about 15 years, and I work in patrol support. And my whole role is really to try and free up patrol units on calls that maybe don't need a sworn unit. Calls like what we're doing right now, which is what we call a 1091, it's a disabled vehicle. My favorite part of volunteering is when I get to see how things work. to serve uh, the citizens and also um, to be a helping hand to all the patrol units. I think the exposure to a world that I was totally unfamiliar with, I've been trained on things that I have never had to do in my career before, getting to meet new people, having a better understanding of how the PD works. I work at forensic services and I have the pleasure of overseeing our volunteers in forensics. I'm very grateful that they return and the things that they do really you've asked to do other things. So they're very critical to the lab and we're very grateful. Thank you for that. And so that kind of gives you guys a scope of what the program is about. And we actually have um, quite a few um, volunteers and interns from ASU as it stands right now. Um, the other screen is just more, it, it'll have the same video. It's just the internship and it kind of goes a little more into detail what um, the application process looks, looks like for a student doing internship. So if you'd like to share both of those links with everyone or if they'd like we'll to do. copy and and you know, go back and whatnot, but um, that's kind of a scope of what the program is about. Okay, give me one second and I'll go ahead and pull it up. Okay. 
And then I'll go ahead and share my screen again. And just to confirm, it's this one as well, right? Yes, that one. Yeah. And it's a, like I said, that's the same video. Um, but on there, you'll see the submission for applications kind of our um, guide as to when things are required. And I know that it doesn't necessarily fall into place with um, sometimes the alignment of internships, but it hope I hope that it gives some of the students kind of a visual, visualization of when these applications might be due. Now they can apply at any time and then as we communicate and as we talk, I can say, all right, well, you're probably more eligible for our summer. You can be more for our, our um, fall or you can just probably do our spring. So feel free to reach out to me and then we can work together for um, the type of internships that they need. Okay, sounds good. And just to remind you guys, uh... At this department, they have a plethora of different units or um, departments that you can kind of do. So it's not just strictly with like law enforcement, right? Just strictly, it, 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 there's different opportunities in a lot of different places for uh, students to be able to have opportunities in it. Yes, and I'm currently working with our attorney's office. Uh, they have a program as well for internship that's not very well known. And so I'm going to be working with them to see how we can um, kind of uh, work together for anyone who applies through um, the Mesa PD and then if they're a better fit for them I can be that uh, liaison between um, their application and our attorney's office. Sounds good. Um, so let me go ahead and stop sharing. Was there anything else you would like to share? I uh, know just my contact information is on those web pages so that if they like to uh, reach out otherwise I'll put it in the chat if they have any direct questions. Perfect. And then at the end of this uh, session, guys, uh, we will have time for questions in case you guys needed any more contact information or just had any questions in particular about any units there at um, the police department. Okay. And then she has linked her email in the chat if any of you guys want to take that down. Perfect. And thank you. Thank you for presenting. And then next up, we have Mary Jo from the School of Public Affairs. Hi. Uh, I'm Mary Jo Zant, and I'm with the uh, School of Public Affairs, uh, one of four schools within the Watts College of um, uh, Public uh, Service and Community Solutions. Uh, and I want to thank Gabby as well. Uh, and I can attest that uh, we've had students that have participated in the volunteer and policing program uh, and internships with Mesa uh, Police Department. Uh, and I know uh, they've recruited on on campus uh, at, at fairs and things like that. And uh, and there are opportunities for you to explore work, um, career pathways and things uh, in public service um, uh, that, that you might be interested in, and, uh, not only with them, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you about an opportunity that the uh, Watts College uh, administers for the university, uh, but is uh, is uh, university-wide. So that ex exploration is a, is a, um, is an important part, I think, and um, important benefit of internship. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, so, so definitely something to consider as a part of your academic career uh, and, and, and to, to enhance uh, those opportunities there with that. Build some skills, um, develop some professional relationships, uh, and really to understand the recruiting and hiring process. So that was something that Gabby, Gabby mentioned that you, you know, the, like doing it to, to uh, um, going through that process for internship or uh, with the volunteer and policing program um, uh, that gives you that uh, that expertise, that leg up uh, when it comes to then post-graduation employment and opportunity things that you're thinking about. You understand that process better and the timing of it, like she was mentioning, and, and, and some of those kind of things. Um, and the same will uh, the same will apply to uh, to the to the program that I'm. Uh, Karis has asked me to speak about. Uh, with you um, uh, with regard to that. So uh, we're all about helping you uh, gain your competitive edge, right, in, in, in the marketplace today and, and understanding uh, what that might look like for you uh, as there's lots of opportunities in public service to serve <laughs> and uh, to serve your community. And that's usually what I get most often uh, from students with regard to um, uh, why an internship or why get out there and test drive something is, um, uh, you know, I want to help my community. I want to give back to my community. I want to make things better for other people, um, kind of thing. So if, uh, if that's part of uh, uh, your your uh, ideology and, and uh, things that you care about, uh, that's definitely something uh, for you to consider um, uh, that program as well as others where, where you have the opportunity to do that. 
So the program that um, Tara's asked me to talk about is a program called McLeaps. It's uh, that stands for Maricopa County Leadership and Education Advancing Public Service. Uh, and the program is 10 years strong. We're celebrating an anniversary this year, 2014 to 2024. Uh, and it was a program put together uh, by President Crow and the Board of Supervisors who governs the Maricopa County and the, the uh, programs and services and, and what they uh, do for the residents of Maricopa County uh, back in, in, uh, in 2014. Um, uh, with the idea uh, kind of threefold. One, um, an op to how could we provide an opportunity to enhance students' educational experience um, and, um, and provide them an opportunity uh, really there to uh, expand on the classroom learning, maybe apply it in the workplace, and vice versa, uh, uh, things that they could learn in the workplace that they could then take back to that classroom learning experience. Um, and really enhance that, that educational experience at ASU. The second goal of the program is to uh, expose students to public service. So this particular program is open to all ASU students, uh, regardless of their academic discipline, um, and um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an opportunity to see what that public service is all about. I can't think of a better place than Maricopa County. It's the fourth largest county in the country. Um, by uh, geography and also population. Uh, and so um, uh, if you think about it, uh, the programs and services and things, there are 54 different departments. Uh, so it's like a, a large uh, company or um, uh, 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 organization uh, that's trying to uh, provide for the residents of Maricopa County uh, uh, and their needs and improve their lives, right? Uh, and keep them safe. So, so uh, fitting in with the with the uh, the public safety uh, in service um, motif we got going here, right? <laughs> uh, so that's a part of it too. So, uh, so lots of different opportunities, and um, it regardless of what you're studying, uh, there's an opportunity to apply those studies uh, to begin a career or to advance a career. Uh, so, depending on where you're at in that trajectory. Um, uh, but they very definitely think about those types of things. The third goal of the program is to um, uh, provide uh, or give students an opportunity to develop skills and knowledge and tools for their toolkit, right, that will help them transition from student to professional after graduation, right? So if you have an opportunity to do internship, uh, uh, field experience, experiential learning, cooperative education, whatever you want to call it, right? And you'll see it under all those names <laughs> and more um, uh, when, when you see it. Uh, when you have a chance to uh, put that into practice while you're still a student, right? It'll give you some good insights into, yeah, this is the right place for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I belong here. I can contribute here. Uh, I have things that I can um, accomplish uh, and I can help others, right? So so if you're thinking along those lines, uh, I highly encourage uh, uh, in, internship in, in general and then and then our program for those reasons. Uh, stuff. And that leadership in education, it's not just the leadership in education of um, ASU and Maricopa County in partnership, uh, but it's also we're looking at the future leaders uh, and uh, uh, and that's you. Right, so, so so thinking about giving those opportunities. Um, so uh, one of the ways we we thought about it, or or the way the program developed, is that um, a full time immersive internship opportunity um, to learn to actually get in and work on pro a project or projects that have impact in the community um, and within those de departments within Maricopa County, and as well on the residents. Uh, of Maricopa County. So uh, Maricopa County's motto is citizens helping citizens. Uh, and while you're here uh, attending ASU, you are certainly a citizen of Maricopa County. Um, and so they, they just think that's a great opportunity, uh, that partnership uh, with it. It's a true partnership because uh, you are treated as um, an, a student, right? And so they're there to help you learn, um, to mentor uh, and to provide that leadership. 
uh, within that internship, and um, and 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 you uh, you also have the opportunity to put your skills and talents uh, into play and 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 make those help, help those things work out. So uh, each uh, semester, and we operate the program in fall and spring semesters. So just during the academic year, we don't have a summer program at that point. Uh, Maricopa County is very actively involved in youth development um, during the summertime. So fall and spring semesters for the last 10 years, uh, we've had uh, up to 12 uh, students um, engaged in project-based work with uh, a department uh, within one of those 52 departments within Maricopa County um, and um, and working, working on that uh, information. Uh, and stuff. So the chance, uh, like I said, to get career relevant work experience, to build skills, industry knowledge uh, in an area. So it doesn't matter. It could be finance, it could be social media, communications, uh, it could be uh, law enforcement, uh, big sheriff's department, one of the big, big departments within Maricopa County. Um, and uh, and then other other facets of it, um, uh, juvenile probation, adult probation, the court systems, uh, and uh, budget and finance, um, uh, animal care and control. Uh, you, you, you just uh, it's worth a look, uh, a trip to the to the Maricopa the, uh, dot gov website uh, to see all those different departments and and things, uh, people doing work that you might not have thought. Is a job, right, or <laughs> or something that you could uh, get into and that you would enjoy uh, doing uh, uh, with regard to that. So getting that exposure, uh, but working that that specific area of stuff uh, and building that. Um, it's an opportunity to build a network of professional connections uh, for your career start or advancement, as I said. So depending on where you are in that, um, and certainly an opportunity to test drive, uh, as I, as I mentioned earlier. Um, some of the other benefits uh, that uh, probably students gravitate uh, to, to most rapidly is this is a paid internship uh, opportunity, and, uh, and that comes in two forms. Um, uh, Arizona State University's investment in the student uh, for that period of time is a um, full tuition waiver for the semester. So um, depending on whether you're you know, in, from in-state students, out-of-state students, uh, uh, undergraduate or graduate, um, uh, whatever that is that you're you're typically paying in a semester in, in tuition, uh, that's waived for that that period of time uh, stuff. So you can make progress towards your degree um, uh, with classes um, and the internship uh, and, and getting that experience. Um, academic credit is a is a benefit of, of the program. Um, uh, as well. Um, and then on the county side, um, they're making an investment uh, in the student of uh, $5,000 stipend, right? And that's paid directly to the student uh, over the course of that semester um, that, that, that they're working with it. So uh, so some, some uh, advantage there. And we understand that our students are um, uh, maybe working uh, to pay the bills, right? Uh, and so if tuition is a bill you don't have to think about, for a semester, um, and uh, and you can bring in some some income uh, via the stipend uh, for that work that you're performing uh, with them. That's a uh, that that's a benefit as well uh, with the students. Um, uh, in addition to that experience and things, um, we too have a website. I think I might have yeah. Let me just click uh, enter. I put that in the chat. Um, and um, uh, uh, and so I recommend that you go to it. We recruit ahead, uh, just like G Gabby was saying, uh, where they're like, we've got applications for this next summer and so on and so forth kind of thing. Um, so uh, so in the spring semester, we recruit for the fall um, and we just um, uh, uh, conducted during the month of March our um, introduction uh, 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 to the, the program and our pre-application workshops um, and, uh, and took in applications um, uh, during that, that period of time um, and for, but for the fall, um, uh, the proposed uh, departments that you might work with in the fall. In, um, in, the, in the fall then, we'll recruit for the following spring. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so keep that in mind, uh, bookmark the website so you can go back to it, the information will change, uh, which departments are are in uh, uh, which twelve departments want to 
um, uh, McLeet's intern uh, for the for the semester uh, and what they're doing. Um, so currently, um, uh, departments that are participating this spring um, uh, vary uh, vary uh, as do uh, those that have put in proposals for the fall. Uh, so if you think uh, Department of Transportation, uh, they can use folks with uh, some GIS skills or um, a class or two. Uh, or um, uh, uh, sometimes it's different departments. That's another big department like the sheriff's office. Um, and uh, so communications, IT, just a variety of things uh, with regard to that. The emergency management department, um, human resources. So that's a huge department, right? They're the ones recruiting and hiring people. And if you look at the website, uh, their jobs portal uh, for Maricopa County, there's over 100 jobs listed there every week. And, and a lot of those jobs don't require a, a degree. Right. So, again, something you can get started, get some experience while you're in school and, and, and completing um, and even thinking about or exploring what it is that you want to do uh, following that uh, with regard to that. So, uh, uh, so, so a variety of things within that. Um, I mentioned juvenile probation, Office of the public defender uh, is another one. Procurement services. Right. So if you're a business student and, and um, uh, you're interested in uh, the purchasing that goes on. Uh, right, they, they'll tell you they've purchased everything from baby diapers to bullets uh, because they are they're the ones helping those each of those 52 departments provide the programs and services that they do for the the residents of Maricopa County. Uh, and stuff. So that's an a, a, an interesting position and stuff. Um, this year uh, there'll be a focus on, of course, elections, uh, and so the recorder's office um, and elections department uh, they definitely need help. Uh, and uh, and are, are looking for um, uh, students that are interested in learning more about how elections work and that whole process uh, and um, uh, how Maricopa County uh, handles that um, uh, during an election year and outside of that as well um, uh, with regard to that. Um, Office of the school superintendent. So there's actually um, uh, an individual and a whole department that um, works with um, uh, all the K through 12 school districts in the county. Um, and uh, they're responsible for um, vetting and appointing uh, people to in their communities to represent on the school board, uh, as well as they work with teachers uh, to give them a voice um, in uh, educational policy and uh, and that. So they're they're engaged with the with the legislature when they're proposing, uh, new policy with regard to education or you know, thinking about changing things um, uh, within the program and stuff like that. So lots of opportunities to get involved there. Uh, and I would be remiss if I didn't uh, mention uh, the Department of Parks and Recreation, <laughs> right? So you, something that you might not think about, but uh, uh, last Friday we had a great tour of the uh, White Tanks County Park. Um, and um, uh, uh, their operations, maintenance, et cetera. It's amazing what a few people do um, so that uh, not only residents of, of Maricopa County, but uh, they get a lot of visitors from out of state and out of the country uh, that, that come in and stay there as well, uh, kind of thing. And, um, and part of that are tied in with uh, Parks and Recreation is uh, they also have a county library district. Right, so uh, again, uh, opportunity to to provide services and, and programming and things for um, county residents with that. So that's just a kind of variety of things that um, uh, uh, that you might be exposed to. We do a call for proposal uh, each time. Always on the website, we'll post the descriptions uh, for the upcoming semester and um, uh, during, uh, especially that recruiting time, and, and kind of think about that. Uh, back to that eligibility, I, I want to mention. Uh, so I said all ASU students, um, uh, do, uh, uh, various uh, academic uh, units or, or studies that you're engaged in. Um, we are looking for because it's a, that immersive experience, and you're gonna um, uh, you, you want to bring some skills uh, to to bear on it. Uh, we're looking at junior or senior status, uh, so that's important to know. Um, and it's important, um, uh, both Karis and Gabby mentioned, like kind of planning ahead when you're thinking about doing an internship. Um, so where does that fit in your academic rigor of um, uh, your four years or, or your two years if you're a transfer student or, or however that uh, is looking for you to earn that, that degree from ASU. Uh, so we're looking at junior, senior standing. If you're an undergraduate, graduate students can also apply. 
Uh, transfer students can apply as long as they've been, once they've been here for one semester, um, eligible uh, eligible to apply. So if you've been here in the fall, you can apply uh, for the spring. If you've been here in the spring, you can apply for the following fall uh, when we make those, 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 um, uh, those things with that. Uh, if you're engaged in a four plus one accelerated degree program, you're also eligible to apply. Uh, and international students are eligible to apply for the Nicholas Internship Program. So, uh, so it really, again, runs the gamut. We get a real variety. Uh, we know we have that diversity at ASU uh, and, and really appreciate that. And Maricopa County appreciates that um, in the workforce as well uh, with that. So all this information that I'm giving you, if you go to the website, um, uh, you, can, you can read more about that. Uh, there's several pages that would then go a little bit deeper into that, that explanation and how it works. Uh, but uh, basically, um, uh, internship, obviously you're there on the job. In this case, you're working on specific projects. You're learning about that department, what they do. Uh, as a cohort, those 12 students uh, also get additional professional development training. Um, and those department tours, uh, like uh, like out the white paints, um, and and uh, so so uh, really opportunity to get a, a very full experience during that period of time, uh, those three and a half four months um, of a semester uh, in the fall or spring time. Uh, so I don't know if uh, if students have questions or uh, or that I or if there's anything else you want me to. To speak to, but. No, that was great. Um, yeah, if, if we have plenty of time um, for question, guys. Um, and I'll start off one question for uh, for the students, and this goes for either you or Gabby. Um, when it comes to students that have done the internship or volunteer experiences with your guys' programs, have you seen them end up walking away or getting job offers from those internships or those those departments? Um, just going through that experience uh, um, and getting that extra, that extra little experience to help them put on their resume. Do you see those? Do you see the result in them getting job offers, either whether it's at your guys' department or um, outside of it, um, and just show like the fruitfulness of what that the experience did for them? Yes, I can go first for that question. And um, I also wanted to point out that Mary Jo said a, a good point. Our internship, however, is not paid. And so I know that that kind of moves, you know, a little um, the scale for some of the students who want to apply. So our internship is not paid, but um, we have seen a large success rate from those who are volunteering and interning to then getting a position. Um, and our, one of our biggest um, like pride, one that we talk about is our forensics department. Um, a gentleman just just finished his intern he started off as a volunteer was going to school then did the internship program with us and then he got a job over in washington dc as their forensics toxicologist um so it's just you know kind of that 360 um and just to see them from volunteering to interning to then getting a job and like you mentioned it might not be with us but we gave them the tools to have a better life um and so he's he's out at washington doing great things and then we've had um, volunteers here who then turn to evidence they work for evidence um, sometimes they become dispatchers um, we have IT people as well and so there's definitely lots of opportunities after your internship or volunteer work with us great yeah I, to piggyback on that uh, as Gabby said it's about that skill building and relationship building that happens during an internship so uh, if you're test driving and you find something that you really love uh, and then uh, generally yes students will pursue it uh, and uh, in the case of Maricopa County, they will also pursue that student uh, to get them hired on uh, or to get them considering thing, things in their particular field. Uh, I have a student this semester who's working with the um, Correctional Health Services uh, uh, Department, and um, uh, she is graduating in May. And so uh, already they have um, uh, let her know about upcoming positions, openings, and things. Uh, and, and try to help uh, uh, try to try to help students transfer that. Also, their HR department has a has a goal, right, of uh, X percentage of students that they want to convert from McLeaps interns um, uh, to the county. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean in the department that you served in, because when you're there, you have the opportunity to learn about all the things that the county does. So oftentimes, like last semester, two students who worked in juvenile probation. Um, were then hired over in the uh, judicial judicial branch with the superior, superior court. 
um, and, uh, and, and positions there uh, based on their interests and, and that kind of stuff. So it's about, uh, the, I think, twofold benefits, the, 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 the student or candidate figuring out uh, what they like and enjoy uh, and, and want to do. Um, and uh, it's not for life, nothing <laughs> it is for life kind of stuff, as, as we might have thought about careers before, but it's like just that first step, right? Um, uh, to, to, to then the next step and the next transition, the life to school transition um, uh, kind of thing. So, so think about it from the student's perspective and what you can learn about yourself and then take into the, okay, where do I want to go with that uh, combination of the experience and the education? And from the um, employer's perspective, absolutely, they would love you to, um, uh, uh, to come to work for Maricopa County um, uh, uh, and you may have some other ideas, right? So uh, remember, we're looking at that exposure to public service. So students could go uh, to work with public service at that local level, county or city government, um, but they could also uh, decide that at the state or federal level, uh, that, that that's where they wanna apply their, their, their talents and, and do that. Or they could decide uh, they're wanting to do something in the nonprofit sector or even in the private sector. Right, so uh, so great opportunities for you to take those skills and, and uh, that that learning and that that knowledge about yourself and also about work that needs to be done, right? Um, and and doing good work. So so I think the mo those perspectives, yes, uh, we do see students' uh, success. And because I mentioned earlier that we're celebrating our tenth uh, year uh, with this particular program, and so we reached back to McLeaps alums and um, uh, ask them if they would um, uh, share with us some of their experiences and things. Um, and then we're engaging them in some activities back to uh, the program right now and over the course of this year. Um, and overwhelmingly, they said, absolutely, you know, sign me up, I'll participate, whatever you need. Um, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that McLeese internship that I had, right? And, and working with that and learning about it. Um, and uh, uh, so, so we do see that uh, kind of return on investment, right? Um, uh, that both the student is looking for the candidate and also uh, also the others and, and definitely work with you on that. Thank you, thank you for sharing. And Deanna or um, Keenan, do you guys have any questions or comments um, regarding anything about the two presentations or any about the opportunities? Um, I really have nothing. Okay, good. And Deanna, I'm assuming you were good because you have not said anything. Um, well, I just like to thank um Gabby and Mary Jo again for um presenting. I know we had a small group of people today, but um I hope you guys really enjoyed the opportunity because this is really valuable information where this can help you. Um, and then in the chat. Uh, their information is still there, but if you guys do need their information after the fact, please feel free to reach out to me and I can get that to you guys. Thank you guys so much for presenting. Uh, You're very welcome. And if you ever need us to do another one, um, just let us know and then um, we can hop in or we can go in person. Sounds good. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Darren. All right. Have a good one, everyone. You too. Thank you, guys.